Yo, 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 this is Cash Mason. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I partnered with the billion dollar brand Spanx and got my song placed in one of their commercials without knowing anyone, no connections, no anything in the industry. I just use this one tool and it's one tool only. But first, here's the commercial. <laughs> So that one tool that I used was Instagram. Instagram, Instagram was the tool that I used to get my song to the billionaire herself and the company Spanx, the women's undergarments. And why I chose them, here's why. This leads us into step one, do your homework. And in my case, I did my homework. You know, I, I looked at brands that didn't already have a big jingle already, that didn't have a, you know, just don't go choose somebody like a McDonald's, bah, 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 or somebody that already has a huge jingle. Go to a brand that's still pretty big, nice size, that might have some money to spend. And, you know, look for brands like that, that don't have a huge song or that doesn't have a song at all and um, try to figure out what you want to do with that. That's how I picked, you know, I first did my homework and, and, I, and I landed on Spanx because I knew quite a bit about them. I heard the story of Sarah Blakely, how she used to sell uh, copy machines um, from door to door. She started a company Spanx with $5,000. I did my homework. You see, I know these things because I actually did my homework. I did the research. Once I found out one thing, I found another thing. You're going to be writing about this. You're going to need to have knowledge of these things which is going to lead us into step two. Step two, number two. After you did your homework and all this research, pick a brand, pick that brand. Get set on one brand. Don't try to you know, go every which direction. Pick one brand that you have the most knowledge about and see what you know your writing capabilities might take you with that brand. So for myself, when I chose Spanx, I knew it was outside of the, the realm of what I was usually writing in, but hey, I was challenging myself because I was a studio songwriter for a studio. They were sending songs and uh, beats and things like that that I wasn't accustomed to, but I you know, I started getting to, to my actual skill set and being like, hey, are you a writer or are you just stuck on one genre? And I was like, hey, I'm a writer. So I got busy on pop songs, I got busy on house music, I got busy on R&B, on hip hop. I chose to go up the pop lane because Spanx? Come on, man, women's undergarment? You're not gonna, you're, I'm not gonna come at it with some hip hop. No, 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 no. I want some bubble gum, Bruno Mars, pop, 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 pop sound and stuff. So that's why I chose Spanx because I knew a lot about the company and it was gonna be an easy right for me as far as for my skill sets. It was easy for me. I'm not saying for you guys, and it is so easy. No, for me, for my skill sets, my imagination, and what I knew my creativity could do, I chose Spanx, and I detailed a lot of things in the song from her story. I made it very personable, and that's what you want to do. You want to make it very, very personable so when they get that first listen, when they get the first listen, when Sarah Blakely first heard the song Spanx, and she heard, Open so feel good to Lala. Miss me with your body stopper. If you feeling good to Lala, work it like a supermodel. Spanx? Open so feel good to Lala. Miss me with your body stopper. If you feeling good to Lala, work it like a supermodel. When she heard that part, Open so feel good to Lala, that was her first choice for the company Spanx. And I actually read that in one of the articles in one of her interviews that she had. I think it was with Oprah or I forgot. Um, I think it was or The View or Good Morning. One of the many shows that she's been on. I went and did my research. I did my homework. I did my homework so I can know a lot about her. Everyone likes to be you know, known about, especially if you put your hard earned money and work and effort, blood, sweat and tears into something. Um, it's very nice and it's kind of like a, 
huh, thank you for, for actually going and, and learning about me. And so I added details of her, her life and her story into the song. So when she heard it and I had that one shot, guess what? She's gonna be like, oh, he knew that detail? Something that small? I wanna give this guy a shot. So that's what I did, and it, it, it worked in my favor. But we're gonna, we, we guys, we got to go to step three. Okay, we're gonna go to step three. Okay, cool. Step three. Step three, y'all. It's it's time to do what you do, what you came to do. It's time to write the song, and it's time to go record the song. However you do it, make sure, make sure, make sure. It's too high quality and industry standard. Don't go record this on GarageBand or record it in the bathroom somewhere and try to send it off. Please don't do this, please don't do this. You only get one shot at this and one chance and you know, you're, the first impression that you know what they always say about the first impression, it's the last impression. So you want to make sure you do this at, at the highest quality. If you know how to mix and master at such a high level, God bless you. God bless your soul. That's a true gift. If you can't, make sure you save up some money, you know, head out to the studio, but act, make sure you write it first. You, you do a rough draft at home. You get it down to a science to where you know the song front and back, the ad libs, uh, the layers that you want to where when you take it to the studio, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on recording hours to just get it done and then mix and master. But just make sure you start writing and put those details, add those details of that company in that song. And that's up to you. That's your mind, your gift, your talents, your gifts and abilities on your wit, on how you're gonna make that all come together. That's that's your time to shine. It's your time to shine, baby. Show them what we came here for. This is money, money, money. What I did with Spanx was, I sent her a 30 second clip of just the hook of the song. I didn't come to them You sent with a song saying, hey, Sarah, I have an idea. No, people don't want to hear about the labor pains. They want you to show them the baby. Here comes Sue Young. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh. I came with the product and I spent the last bit of $600 that I had at the time. I was on unemployment because the oil field went under. I was working in oil and gas and the oil field went under, I was on unemployment, I spent my last 600 bucks because I knew the song that I had just wrote, she was gonna like it if she heard it. I just knew it. I, you have to believe in yourself like that. I love music. If I didn't make money from it, I still would do it. I love music. That and music is my own currency, it's therapy for me. So I would still do it. But I knew the song was so good to myself and I was willing to bet on myself and take my last $600 for my unemployment and go record this song with a bass player, with an engineer, and um, just pretty much get this thing done and make the beat and all that good stuff and um, come up with a product. So that's what I did. So make sure you guys, make sure, make sure you come with a product. People don't want to hear about the labor pains and your ideas and all these masterful things you got in your head. Show them the baby. They don't want to hear about that and the pushes. Show them the baby. They don't want to hear about your labor pains. Come to the table with a product. We're gonna go into step. Let me go to step four. Step four. Okay, I, I, I'm getting off track and getting so excited. Step four. Ah! Okay, step four is very, 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 very important, y'all. It may sound nerdy, it may sound, oh, that's corny. No, just do it. Step four, make a checklist. These are all things that I'm telling you right now. Are, they're in my ebook. You guys will have a free download link um, in, in the uh, description so you guys can have that and you guys can have this. I'm just giving you guys a brief, a brief, brief summary of the ebook through this. But step four, just make a checklist. Make a checklist of everything you want to say to that brand in that DM, how you can bring value to the company um, and be very personable um, with me. I DM Sarah Blakely and you guys can see the DM right here. I DM'd her, I let her know how I can bring value to the company through marketing, through the music. Um, a song called Spanx and actually the brand being called Spanx and the island being called Spanx, if that song were to hit the charts, people are like, oh, Spanx? What is Spanx? What is that? 
Everyone doesn't know what Spanx is. My, I know a lot of people that I know they don't know what Spanx is. I had to tell them what Spanx is. They're like, oh, oh, that's that old lady stuff. That's that old lady stuff. That's that old lady stuff. Literally, a lot of people don't know what Spanx is, and I let the company know, hey, this is how I can bring value to you. Don't come looking, money, money, money. I need money. No, no. But at the same time, hey, 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 hey. Make sure, make sure you have everything you want to say in 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 that entire message. You only get one chance at it. You don't get to erase and go back again, send a second message because these people are very, very busy and they might not have time for you to come back over and over again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You get one shot at it, you're coming to them. So you gotta show them one time how you can bring value. Know, have, have everything you wanna say on a checklist, everything you wanna say. Read it up and down, make sure you proofread it, make sure it's not saying anything crazy. Make sure, just make sure you bring bringing value, being personable, and just be real, be real, and make sure you have a piece of that song in that message. Make sure you have a piece of that song and it makes your cover art, something that, you know, embodies their brand. Yeah, you know, and just wait and see. And then that's, that's, that's the next thing, you just have to wait and see. Um, but um, this is gonna go into step five. We're gonna step five. Let me stop, stop, step five. After all those other steps, one through four, all that other stuff, we're gonna go into step five. Know your worth, know your worth. Just know your worth. Just have an idea of an amount you might want. Um, just in case they say, hey, we want this and um, what's your price? Or, hey, we wanna offer you this for it. Just know your worth and, um, um, and not a penny less. Um, like with me, with my Spanx deal, they came in with their price, I came with my price. You know, we went back and forth, uh, you know, for several months. And then we came to agree on a price and it worked for both of us. And if you feel like you can't do it yourself, get legal help get a lawyer hire a lawyer i know it may be expensive or whatever it is but if this is that important to you uh, the financial part about it get a lawyer i'm not saying do this on your own i did it on my own with Spanx because my intentions were legacy being tied to a billion dollar company for life more than you know the money part so i was going to negotiate it myself which i did and i'm happy with that if you feel uncomfortable with that Get legal help. I'm not saying you gotta do it yourself, but for that step, I would say, do what you feel is most comfortable for yourself. Okay? Okay. Can I get a oh. I run to go from wiggly to hard. Before you go into it, just know that so you're not caught off guard, but just have a, a, an idea of a number and just being able to, you know, have some wiggle room. Have a lot of wiggle room because you're coming to them. Just imagine, you know, you going to someone and um, they're going to give you, you know, a really huge look for you because getting a major placement with a billion dollar brand, it's not a small thing. It's not a very small thing. That's legacy. You're attached to that that company and what they're doing for the, the, the entirety of their life. And I'm doing that independently. Spanx. Um, I am attached to them for life, to my legacy, to my family. I got a major song deal independently without knowing anyone. No industry connects, no um, side deals, no anything. I just literally used Instagram, social media. It works. It really, really works. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. But just make sure you're creative. Make sure you're, you're talented in itself. You know, and um, and just go for it. Just go for it. You know, you know your skill set. You know your abilities, and just go for it. Just know how much you would possibly, you know, um, the low end on what you would take, and just know um, where you're willing to negotiate, um, because that's what it comes down to. Sometimes the negotiation process, or sometimes they may not be willing to negotiate. It may be smarter for you to take the deal so you can have that under your resume. And that's another thing for me. I want it under my resume so I can say, hey, I have a major placement with a billion dollar brand so it was less about the money and the money was a great thing and i appreciate it so much it provided so much it got me out of a huge uh, hole and i ended up moving to atlanta doing some cool things but that's that's another story but still just understand that know your worth and what you're willing to negotiate with and um that that's step five and now we're going to step six all right now it's time to get in the game step six get in the game y'all get in the game now it's time to get in the game it's time to send that message everything that you put together the song uh clip that you're going to put in there the makeshift cover art you did your homework so the song came out awesome i know it did 
I know it did. Uh, a bunch of talented people I'm sure are watching right now. The song came out great. You know it's gonna be a success. You spent your last bit of money on it because, hey, it only takes one person to believe, and guess what? That's you, believe in yourself and, and make it happen like I believed in myself. I spent my last $600 and I made quite a bit of money. I made quite a bit of money and was able to change my life and be able to move to Atlanta and pursue my dreams in music. But that's another story. But you spent your last bit of hard earned money, you're ready to go take on the world and you're ready to send that off. Make sure when you get in the game, you say yourself, give yourself a little prayer. Or if, if whoever you believe in, you know, say you, I don't know what you do, whatever, go rub your, your feet in the sand, go bite a, uh, a stick of butter, do what you gotta do to get yourself prepared. And just and just wait, uh, you know, and see and see what happens. I'm not saying this is guaranteed. Everything that I'm saying right now is going to guarantee you get um, a message back or guarantee that they're going to say something to you. But this is going to give you a great chance. And this is what I did to get a response. Everything that I did, this is a step by step. I made it happen independently with no help of knowing someone without being in the industry in any way. I made this happen using social media with all of these steps. So everything that I'm telling you is just helping you prepare yourself to go out and seek a major placement. Follow all of these steps and it will prepare you to, to get your first yes. Because every no is closer to a yes, right? As an artist, every no is closer to, the, to that big yes. Because guess what? You will get that yes. And I believe in you, just like how I believed in myself. You gotta believe in yourself and be willing to take a chance and bet on yourself against all odds because I made it happen as an independent. And guess what? You can too. And make sure you guys get my free ebook. It's in the description. Um, I, I said it for you guys for free. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Music gave to me and this is what I'm giving back to music. So I wanna give that to you guys so you guys can actually get a detailed read. A lot of you guys may not be a video person that just wants to take into my video. You guys, some of you guys are real scholars and really like to actually read. I appreciate you guys too. So make sure you guys go check out that ebook. It's free for you guys. I don't want you guys to have to spend your hard earned money on more text and more stuff like that um, for, for something that you're passionate about. I want that to be free for you guys. Um, so you guys can take your hard earned money and just spend it on music, on music, the things you guys love. I want you guys to be able to do more of it free ebook on me. You guys can go check out my music as well. Um, Spanx is nothing like my normal music, hip hop, R&B uh, stuff that I do, but it's the, the commercial bubblegum pop stuff. So um, I might make that set for you guys. Should I release Spanx as an official song on my Spotify? I want you guys to let me know in the comments. Should I release it for you guys? Would you guys go listen to it? Would you guys stream it? Because it was a hit enough to be in a commercial for a billion dollar brand. You guys think that'd be a hit song? This was a hit song because yeah, they only used it for their fall ad campaign. That was great. I made my money, all that good stuff. But I think it, I think it can go bigger. Let me let me know in the comments if you guys think I should drop that as an official song on my Spotify. And if I get enough of you guys enough to follow me and say yeah, it is. If I can get at least a hundred, yes, drop it, drop it, drop it. I'll drop it on Spotify and Apple Music and all that good stuff. And you guys can listen to the whole song rather than just a snippet from the commercial. But anyways. Uh, I'm not gonna hold you guys too much longer. Um, you guys, here's the commercial again. You guys can check it out. Uh, much love, thank you all. And um, go out and get in the game. Go get your first major placement. I know you can. Go grab my ebook. It's free. Much love to you guys. I'm out. They want a picture like, hold it, nah, vogue it. Put a hashtag space with a little cash on it. Hoping to feel good to lie, look, miss me with your party, stop, but hit.